All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Look, we asked you on our Everybody Instagram leave. a couple welcome of, back a couple of weeks ago to submit your questions. We we haven't done a fan only episode in a while. And today that's what you got, because honestly, we're trying to pre-record for the holiday season so that we don't have to work through the holidays. Amen. Um, amen. Um, so there we go. We we depended on you guys for the content of this one. Johnny D has all of the questions. I hope you were kind to him, but without further ado, Johnny D, let's get into our if, fan questions. If they weren't kind to me, um, Beth cut all those out. So oh, okay. I hope they were kind of. Hey, say hey, Beth. Beth didn't want to say hey. Um, no. But yeah, I got a ton of questions, and I'm just going to start. She's kind of quiet. Going through all of them. It's almost like she's not Some here. very serious, almost. some very uh, lighthearted and silly. All right, let's start with silly. What's our favorite thing about each other? Oh. This is like a bonding therapy session. Really? That, that is from K. K? Well. No, sorry. The that thing is I from... like about Johnny D is he works at a bait store, so I ain't got to pay full price for my bait. <laughs> there you go, boy. Bye. He's like a good woman. You can't hunt with him and can't hunt without him. That's it, babe. Martin's just like a big old teddy bear. You just love it to hug him. I'm like the son uh-huh. God would never have, but we also best friend, huh? Do y'all hug a lot? We hug a lot. Yeah, we tell each other we love each other about every time we're on the phone with each That's other. Right. Hey, what's yeah. wrong with that? No, I mean, these these two men right here, for sure, been a huge impact on my life. I I like them because, and I love them for this, actually, because everybody knows what we stand for, right? But ain't neither one of them, when I worked with them, try to beat me over the head with a Bible. They just lived it and made me curious about what they were living. And for that, I am forever grateful. And they still do the same thing to today. Like, I know right now, I call John Goblin at 1 a.m. in the morning. He may not answer, but he's going to call me back pretty quick. He's going to call you back. And whatever I need, he's in. It, do, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, if I'm like, hey, I'm in a ditch. I'm stuck. He's coming. He's, first thing I say, do you get out? No. All right, I'm on my way. Yeah. Like, same thing with Sai. So I go make a couple of calls and make sure that that happens, if he'll answer, if he don't hang up on me. Now, that's a 50-50 chance yeah. anymore. He got, too, he got too many telemarketers right. calling him that's now. Right. But I found persistence is key. You just keep calling. Hey, eventually, keep calling. Uh, eventually, you say, wait a minute, hold it. Something about you that. You got to let it. Yeah. I can't hear. So you got to let it. Something about Rang that number is familiar. Better answer. And Johnny D, oh. crap. I mean, we shared a wall for we seven, did. eight years. I mean, we've we've heard everybody's, we've heard each other's best and worst conversations with <laughs> partners, our wives, <laughs> our family. It doesn't matter. We've heard it all. Oh. We're like, ooh, that hey, sucks. Hey. Um, but we've walked into each other's office and said, "You oh, good? <laughs> you gonna have a fun night tonight? <laughs> yeah. no? right. You all right? What'd you do this morning, yeah. man? You yeah. all right? Talked it out. Yeah, Johnny D. Johnny D. Kid room this evening. Johnny yeah. D's walked in there and said, "Hey, you want to come over and play PlayStation, eat pizza tonight? Like, absolutely. You know what I do? <laughs> I, I do. I'm coming. I'm coming to your garage. That's what we're doing. The so, old days of the garage. You know, it is. I mean, we're at a, we're at a very fortunate place that we work." Even though JD isn't here anymore, but we we truly are a family around here. Like we take care of each other, and and it's cool to not be coworkers, but to be friends, be brothers, be sisters uh, in Christ, and all that. So blood can through Jesus. Amen to that. So which is you know another quality to admire. I want to know what Cy likes about Goblin. I'm interested. <laughs> he's he's like me. He's always good for a good laugh. <laughs> I'm serious. He's serious, y'all. Hey. Hey, Y'all. Look, there's not enough laughter. Hey, man. You know, laughter covers a multitude multitude of sin. Boy, don't it. Oh, I'm telling you. you That's what the only thing that's kept me and my wife together. (laughs) Is laughter. She'd have left you years ago, but every time she wanted to, she started laughing. And low key, Christine's way funnier than anybody gives her credit for being, too. She's tacos. She's a she's a dry wit. Well, it's it's the osmosis. She's being around me. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She catches it from me. So hey, it works out though. Oh Uh, I love it. I know what Sai likes about me. I ain't worried about it. I'm a chauffeur. He's like a big brother. <laughs> a big so you're a big brother. Goblin's son and 
Size big brother. Yeah. yeah. You're an ageless wonder, Martin. Look, I'll tote Si anywhere and he knows it. And you like right. a you like a first cousin. <laughs> Your family, Red somebody, Red. somebody no. you can beat the tar out of and still love him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll still love me. Hey, that's one thing uh, about life is you got to know where you're at. Uh, <laughs> I like being a first cousin of Si. My goodness, gracious. that's funny. That is good. I'm size big brother. Think about that. I guess it's just because I'm big. No, I'm size first cousin. It's because he picks on me, but he still loves. You me. know what that means? But though? he's not sure why. But you know what I just heard? We're both in the wheel. So yeah, oh. boy. Whoa, whoa. No. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> it's called the Duck Call Room Podcast because uh, nobody'd listen if he wasn't with us. Ain't that the truth? Oh man! No, I wouldn't. No, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> um, I digress. Yeah. All right, we got what? What's, I keep going. Yeah, let's keep rolling. I really like this one. All right. And I, these are from Instagram, so I don't have. Oh, your, wait a minute, you didn't answer. Oh. Well, I like you did, because nice. you spend a lot of money on fish and bait, and <laughs> that makes my wheel higher. And you, th- and you, minute, and you, you mark them up for and, I you, get there. and you think you're saving money, so that we both win. Yeah, uh, we both win. Uh, <laughs> when somebody fishes as much as Godwin, you can give them a discount, and you're still coming out all right. Yeah, yeah, you're playing the law of averages. Either. No, I think it's. I mean, it's the thing with all of it. We're all friends, and I know when I come in here, I'm gonna laugh. And I know when I worked here, it was like. Oh, Got to go to work today. At least I'm going to laugh and have fun while I do it because life's too short to be. And I think that's what, that's the legacy side left on this place. Like, you can go to work every day and shockingly enough, you can have a good time. Yeah. You can not hate your job. Yeah. yeah. And it exists. The, op- yeah. the opportunity for that exists. And there's going to be some stuff. Like, I don't think. Cy was necessarily just loving punching reeds all day for a long time. Yeah. But he did um, it with a smile on his face and then he. Had a fun time when he, whenever the opportunity arose to cut up and have fun. Well, in fairness, he only did it four or five hours a day. What's up? He well, got at least hey, three hours a nap. But in. here's the thing nobody did, else could do it. Hey, I didn't have but one job after was to make sure that Jason, Gowan, and all of y'all had reeds to put in the duck hall. And we never yeah. didn't have them. That's right. Y'all never did I have to say, hey, look, we're out of reeds job well done and if we did we never said anything we just went and made them ourselves <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> but that because he had them pre-cut he had the hard part done the, actually the hardest part was cutting them knowing which way that plastic was bent that was the hardest part and if Cy did his job on marking that and cutting them anybody could sit there and make them after that but the hardest part was actually looking at that piece of plastic and determining which way it was bent Mm-hmm. And he, there, we've had several try it since, and wasn't none of them as consistent as that man. Well, no, no, because I actually brought consistency, okay, to, to the read system. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then Stone up me one by, by go ahead and and bring it into the twentieth century. Even the twenty first somehow. Oh, in twenty first. <laughs> yeah. He automated it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. where it was just then all you had to do the reeds were cut, they were put together. And they were right. They were the right length. You didn't have to trim them. Okay. Yeah. So he up he upgraded it where it was just hey, you put them in there, and you really didn't even have to blow them. See, that's what I love Check about them. these questions. You never think we get to talk about making reeds, but here we are. Well, it's well, we can I meander can with the best. Of them. It's what I think <laughs> about when I think about Sai. I think about boy that. Job sounds kind of boring. Oh, and, it is. And stop. <laughs> See? Trust me. But he was a perfect contender. Uh, but, look but, at that. We got we done messed around and got to the first yeah, break. We One question no. down, 49 to go. Yeah. Right. We'll All be right. back. I'll right see what this. we can do. Martin, you want to know what one of my favorite parts? Work I, I worked a lot these this holiday. Did you? I was there a lot. And every day, right around five, the very friendly mail lady came and picked us up. All our stuff we were trying to ship out because we use stamps.com. So you got to get home at a decent hour. You what? didn't have to leave and go to the post office. Save money. Didn't have to hire somebody to be up there. Don't have to hire somebody to go to the post office. That's more time at work, more time at home, more time with your kids. It's time. It's time. And, and time is money. So I hear. That's what they say. I know it is. As a man who run, helps run a family small business, I, I'm in charge of the budget. So I know how much time cost it is expensive and you can't ever get it back but with stamps.com you can get some of it back because you don't have to go to the post office you can schedule a pickup 
right here. They will come here, pick it up on the dashboard. Everything is good. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses like ours. Get access to the USPS and UPS services you need to run your business right from your computer. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. Even save money with major discounts on USPS and UPS rates up to 86% off. You can use stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer printer. Like I said earlier, if you need a pickup, schedule on your stamps.com dashboard. They'll come pick it up. Rates are constantly changing with stamps.com switch and save feature. You can easily compare carriers and rates so that you know you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, stamps.com works seamlessly with all the major shopping carts and marketplaces. Look, this holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. All right, Johnny. Well, I, I got another good one that it pertains to all of us, and we have to rank ourselves. And what? One, two, three, four. Of what? Of who would be the last one standing in the zombie apocalypse? Oh, that'd be me. You you going to make it God, the longest? God one's done raised his hand I, saying he's going to be the one you, last man you, standing. You're not I'm running's gonna, not going to be your strong suit. Now, I'm uh, going to give Cy. Running? I ain't going to run. I'm going to say Cy is the last one standing because they're going to look at him <laughs> and, think, and he, think he is one. So I was going to go with the decoy technique. You're going to get punished. Well, you may be, hey, you I, may be I right like there. So I was just going to stand there. Ah, and I can like, fool them, J.D. I can yeah. fool them that I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna so. say, "Ain't no way he's human." <laughs> I retract my prediction. Yeah, so he, said that's he, a retra- good point. he retracted mm. more. And then I think me, you, and Goblin all get snuffed out at the same time. So they probably catch us at a buffet somewhere, and we're just like Goblin's at this point. Like, well, the apocalypse coming. Let's go eat. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, he's giving up on the incredible shrinking man, and then we just get got by eating TSO chicken somewhere. Like, <laughs> no, and rice, no, and your rice, y'all are at Johnny's nice Pizza potatoes. House. Or, there yeah. you go. Goblin yeah. said, Johnny's "Apocalypse." Apocalypse is here, boys. Johnny's on Warren Buffet line. Uh, there we go. And if they're smart, <laughs> they'll let us get done and walk out the door because then you can't move. I mean, that, that, I mean, you feel like the Michelin man. And yeah. I, mean, I don't think I have any abilities to survive the zombie apocalypse except for I have an uncanny ability to be the man beside the man in charge. Hey, well, yeah. Uh, so I feel like I would identify like a stone and be like, Yes, sir. What do you need me to do? How can I help How you? How can I help you, sir? And that's my only chance of surviving. Yeah. If I'm by myself, me, done. Eventually, what kills zombies? I don't even know. Do bullets work? You got to shoot. In the head. Bullets head. in the head. Well, see, yeah. I'm good for like 11,000 of them right now, currently. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can head shoot with the best of them. Yeah. Well, but problem is, I'm eventually going to run out of bullets. No, you're going to have an endless supply of bullets. Why is that? Well, it's just a fig. Fiction e- email, so we got oh. a big fish and there's some amount of bullets. And I just unlimited, unlimited bullets. became a way better yeah, shot, unlimited. too. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. No, I still say Cy si outlasts us all because they think. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's my real prediction. I think you're right. All right, what else you got? All right, all right. This one from MG. MG. Or maybe a Q. I don't know. What is your go-to Chick-fil-A order? I think that's an important question that the whole world needs to hear. Oh, for everybody? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't order from there no more. But what was it in the day? I got. I did get a grilled chicken, that deluxe. That thing's good. That's spicy that one they waffle, got. Hey, I would just say, that's what I had for dinner today. Yeah. The grilled spice sauce. Don't was forget grilled spicy. the Chick fil A hey, sauce. I wasn't ready for it. And that sucker good, though. Eh? Hey, when I bit it, it bit me back. Yeah. That cilantro that's lime, this sucker whatever is it is, that thing is good. Like when yeah. that's available, that's my go to with extra pickles. I, I love pickles. Oh, yeah. No, no yeah. pickles. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, he's right. I'm off the A pickle. large fry and a extra, large unsweet extra tea. Yep. That's what. But if they don't have that, then I just get the spicy chicken sandwich with extra pickles. Oh, I could eat a spicy fried chicken sandwich, bucket. large fry, large Coke Zero. That's what I have for lunch today, yep. and probably will have tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> it's how we roll. Spicy yep. everything. Everything I could spicy. Eat a five gallon bucket of it right now. What's that? All the above. <laughs> All of the above. All of it. He said, All "Just give me it. one of everything." Well, then pay no attention to that case of Christmas tree cakes on the back seat it's, of my truck. It's the yeah. Lord's. Uh, Your wife's calling. 
It's the Lord's chicken. You're going to have to wait. All right, here's one. Uh, JD Owen 7 emailed in, why does the United States rule at soccer? Well, buddy, they don't, so I'm sorry. I emailed <laughs> in to their own thing. <laughs> oh, that, that, was, quick, that was dumb. I just happened to run across that. All right, question specifically for Godwin. Oh, here we go. From oh, Y'all need to put y'all's names on Instagram. I have a question for Godwin. What's your favorite book of the Bible and why? The favorite book, I guess Luke, which does attribute to Luke and Acts, is because Luke is writing it to his friend Theophilus, and it kind of just makes it, you know, better. I mean, it, I don't know. It just touches me so much. Like it's, it's. Hey, I can appreciate Like it. it's a real book. book. I mean, it is a real book, but it just. Personal he's letter. writing it to it. Yeah, yeah personal. personal letter. Because yeah. he wants his buddy to know about it. Yeah, he's he's imploring his friend, like, hey, bro. Yeah. Remember what I told it's you? A, I went a, ahead and wrote it down. Yeah. yeah, this is what we've seen. And, My bro, Theophilus. Yeah. Si, let's, let's, we can all answer this. Well, that's a hard hard one to do, but I, I just I guess I would go with Acts. Acts of the Apostles mm -hmm. and all the stuff they went to and and the main thing I get out of it is, is, is the urgency about, you know, hearing the message and then obeying it. Yeah. You know, because the acts, they didn't fool around. You know, Paul and Silas was in, in the jailhouse, you know, and the Lord shook, every, shook the doors open everything, and the guy was fixing to kill himself, the guard. And he said, hey, don't, don't harm yourself. Everybody's still here. We're all right. You know, so it was just, uh, but that's a hard one to say because there's so many other ones that uh, the information is there throughout the whole Bible. I know. You know? Hebrews, I like Hebrews. I, know. I love the book of James. I like Philippians. I like Hold a up. lot of the those no, smaller no. Colossians. books. Colossians. Yeah, yeah. I, I like a lot yeah. of those. He likes a quick ones. read. Well, it's not even that. I think a lot of those, and not that the whole Bible is not transferable to today, but I think a lot of those smaller books just talk show you that they were dealing with a lot of the same things then that we are now. Well, there's um, nothing the Bible says. You know, I'm an Ephesian. There's man. nothing new. Love it. Galatians. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. There's nothing new under the sun. Well, yeah. it was Paul it's writing. It's all been said and all been done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All those books were Paul writing to people who were like trying to figure things out, which is us. Yeah. And so you can really just be like, oh. Here's works. what he meant. And then yeah. I will say this. Lately I've been on this little Old Testament kick. What? Yeah. And you know. First Samuel. Well, I like all them Israelites, you know. Had it so good, then complain about when it just goes a little wrong. And it just reminds me of a certain country that I know and was born in. And like it's like, oh, man, you didn't do enough for us. And then we get all mad and that everything's not perfect oh, yeah. anymore. And then, it was a king. and then God shows up and puts quail through our noses. And you're like, why is it? Now I'm sick of this. So Quail are way better to go in your mouth than your nose. Yeah, right? well, God, wins, you know? uh, God, wins. God the Lord <laughs> said it's going to come out your nose. <laughs> You'll be sick of it. Oh, man. So, hey, that's a great question. Yeah. All right. We ready for another one? It did sound like though we went from the front to the back of it really you know, quick. So it's, I mean, that. I'm just like, yeah, favorite book. Yeah, this, that. that. Then you start thinking oh, yeah, about parts of all of them. You're like, yeah. my favorite book of the Bible is the holy one. The, it's, it's the Bible. <laughs> it's just the Bible. It's the Bible. Read the whole yeah. thing. You'll find some crazy stuff in there too. Yeah. All right. Here's a here's a interesting one. What was your favorite moment from the Duck Dynasty days that never made it on TV? Ah, my pants ripping on the date episode. Your pants ripped on when the they set up the fake dinner with me and Sai out there in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. They were having us sitting on like pallets of stuff, mm -hmm. and for whatever they had to sit me lower because I'm so tall. So that oh, because you were going on a practice. Yeah, practice I was going on practice date. date with Sai, but they had to sit me lower because I'm so tall, so that we're on like the same eye line. <laughs> and when I went to sit down, like rip, I, my pants just went. <laughs> Rip. And rip from my crotch to my ankle. And I was like, that's a bad deal. But, you know, I was like, hey, I'll wear it. I, I yeah. forgot all about that. That's yeah. such a funny episode, too. And nobody yeah. knew. Hey, calm down over there, Tiffany. <laughs> oh, Tiffany. Yeah. yeah, but it did. My, I mean, my britches <laughs> ripped from my crotch all the way to my ankle oh, just from sitting boy. on a pallet. Of course, they were under a lot more pressure then than they are now. But 
About 40 pounds more pressure. 40 but. Godwin, you got anything? I don't recollect nothing that didn't make it. All my stuff was good. Oh, well, we had the... <laughs> Hey, there you go, boy. We had one full episode that didn't hey. make it. There is yeah, a lost did. episode. Is we that did. even on DVD anywhere? Uh, not uh, that I'm aware of. I had one scene that I was in that just when Willie was trying to make the new sandwich, and I was like, use jalapenos. He said, no, they're too hot. And I was like, and so I just started shoving jalapenos in my mouth to prove a point, and it got uncomfortable, and then everybody's just dying laughing. I was like, that's probably pretty funny TV. Never seen it. Never heard from it. No. I don't know what happened. Just me eating jalapenos. There you go. So I didn't watch the show. Yeah, he wouldn't know what made yeah. it and what didn't. So no. He said, I don't sound like that. You kids ever heard a nom? If that well, was that was the funniest one. And Jay, <clears throat> Jay said, I can't believe that you said all that stuff in front of them kids. You know, and I said, Jason. Bingle tiger. I said, I said, Jason, I will have a green screen behind me. About ninety percent of the time, <laughs> that's not uh, telling, true. Hey, that's telling the secrets, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Martin over at Winch. Nah, hey, I don't care. We've been paid. <laughs> Those kids were in there. <laughs> I don't care. That part was no. for sure. Right. Well, our next funny. question was: Is Duck Dynasty's fully staged? Apparently, ninety percent of not it was, fully. Apparently, ninety no. percent no. of it was a green if, screen. If I was in it. It wasn't nothing staged. Yeah. No. No, couldn't nobody write for Cy. Si. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Have you got my pillow Actually, or your pillow? My pillow or your pillow? Your pillow or my pillow? Our pillow. That's what I Our want. pillows are all my pillows. Uh, and my pillows are your pillows. What about but, your slippers? But my towels are mine. Don't come messing with my towels. Well, my towels are also mine. Yeah, stay that's, off my But sheets. my towels can be yours. Don't be sleeping on my sheets. And my sheets, well, those are my sheets. But Martin, tell them how they can get my sheets. Tell them how they can get their own my sheets. Not to be confused with my sheets. Mm -hmm. But you can have your own and then you can call them my sheets. Your sheets. But you can get them from our friend over at Michael and Dell, the My Pillow guy. You know him. He's got his face on a pillow. Doesn't get more American than that. Thank him you. and Mount Rushmore. I mean, what other designs do you need on a pillow for crying out loud? Both of them. I don't need any more. I mean, that's as American as it gets. Look, we love them. The sheets, the towels, the slippers, the pillows, you name it. Anything brought to you from the My Pillow folks, they've taken their time. They do a great job. Cy loves the towels. He says it. they're like drying off with a cloud, which I'm not real sure what that means, but mm. yeah, soft. Yeah, it seems like a cloud would be wet, but soft. maybe not. I don't, Science. It's, mm. Who's to say? <laughs> but look, right Paula, now, Paula likes them little bitty travel with my pillows. Does she? Oh, she keeps them in there. There's a set in my she, truck. She right take now. them deer hunting with her? No, but oh. they're behind the seat in case we go on a trip. There you go. In case you, never mind. Uh, but right now, you don't want to miss my pillow's best sheet prices ever. All Giza Dream sheets are on sale for as low as twenty nine ninety nine with promo code Duck at mypillow dot com slash Duck. That's fifty percent off. The my pillow Giza sheets are made with the best cotton in the world. They're ultra soft, breathable, and come in a ton of color, styles, and sizes. They're durable and stand up to frequent washing no matter what your kids or pets throw at them. And the deep pockets mean that they're super easy to change. Order now because they have a very limited supply. There's a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. But you're not going to need it because we know you're going to love them. You've got to check out all the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow Giza sheets for as low as $29.99. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck. Duck and use promo code Duck or call 800 969 3137 and use promo code Duck. Order now because when they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. We're back, Johnny D. Let's fire some more questions. What what else did the folks of the of the Graham want to know? Martin, what? Why do you, the, Mike? Mike has to ask you, why do you call people hammer and what does it mean? You know, I'm not real sure. I know where it started. Um, it started from back when my dad was at the paper mill. Um, a lot of them them folks out there at the paper mill, Godwin can probably attest to this, had nicknames for each other. And somehow I ended up with all of his buddies, them calling me Hammerhead. <laughs> so eventually I shortened it to Hammer. And then also there's a, a fisherman that is a good buddy of mine terry scroggins uh they call him big show and he calls everybody hammer 
Oh, all, all hammer. All hammer. We done found them crappies over in that hammer. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know if he got it from a meal deal or if he just started calling everybody hammer. I don't, I don't really know. But generally, in my mind, it's short for hammerhead. And it generally is used not necessarily as a term of endearment. Generally, like, Wait, you call me that all the time. Only when you say some weird stuff, I, I'll call you him. <laughs> if you'll ever notice when I call you that, it's generally because you just said something. I was like, huh? I don't know about that, Hammer. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, it's just that kind of deal. But, um, yeah, them meal hands were wild, man. Everybody that worked out there, wasn't they going? They were. Do you have a nickname out there? The Flying uh, Flea. Oh, they had, man, all them maintenance boys had nicknames for everybody. Yeah. It was but that's who I grew up duck hunting with. Well, I might have had, but they ain't. They never said it to your face? I, I didn't know about it. They's worried about you. Right. See, they scared of you. Mm-hmm. But that's 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 kind of the story on Hammer. All Hammer. right. <laughs> that's kind of the story on Hammer, Hammer. All right. Well, Big G also yeah. has a question for all of us. Big G. Big G asks, where would you be without Duck Commander today? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Probably in rehab. I'd be, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'd, be say, I'd probably be homeless. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I ain't no doubt. I was headed down the road. I don't know where I'd be. Prison, rehab, dirt. I'd probably be homeless. I mean, you think you'd be homeless? Yeah. I'd be working at graphic packaging. Yeah. I'd running just, an old printing press. Stamping out beer cartons. I'd probably be telling people how to run them by now. Mm-hmm. You said your hearing would be shot though. It'd be gone by now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. He said hawk. Yeah. Uh my dad probably would have fired me by now if I would have went straight there. So <laughs> Yeah, I may be working for your dad at yeah. this point. Yeah, you you trying to find where my <laughs> I'd be back at Super One just stacking apples. The problem, is, or the good thing for your dad is, though, like he wouldn't have to pay me. We just have to settle up at the end settle of the week. Settle up at the end like, of the week. I probably wouldn't be throwing jackhammers. <laughs> I'd be on that, knockers. I'd be on that original chatterbait, something fierce. I'd be on that $5 version instead yeah. of that $20 version. That's... Collecting lead and pouring them. Yourself. Yeah. I'd be stealing roofing jacks off people's houses to make jig heads. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Not that I've done that before. Yes, he has. <laughs> I didn't steal them. They were in a pile. They were in a pile. <laughs> they were on the ground. Yeah, they just got through putting on a new roof. I asked them if I could have them. Works good, though. It's good lead for digging. That's fine. There you go. But, yeah, yeah who, I mean, who in. I mess off the top of it, though. I, I mean, I, I legitimately don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing or where I'd be. It's I'd, been a, we were all, I mean, I was here the shortest time, and that was a decade. I mean, I looked at something this morning from Facebook, um, and that little memories deal, and it popped up as like a picture that I took of me, Cy, and Goblin that said 13 years ago. Hmm. So I've been here 14 years. <laughs> I'm 37. Oh, We're crowding 50% of my life has been spent here at this point. And it's like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, so to ask what I would, I have no clue. Yeah. Like, I know this, I was lost when I got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in every which way imaginable, lost. So, and Sai's si been here for thirty, thirty ish, yeah, thirty two, yeah, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. Galvin's yeah, been here for twenty, twenty two. I bet. Well, I worked twenty four time in ninety nine. I started working part time twenty three years. I'm here, been here longer than I was at Riverwood. Godwin experienced I was there K here. 21. Yeah, Godwin was worried if our shipping computers were going to make it overnight. How was going to get the orders out the next day? That's wild, man. What's it going to do when it rolls to double zero? Just keep going. So it's hard to say where we would be because we were all here so long. Yeah. And really at kind of key parts of our lives, too. Like not, not during the boring stages. I mean, yeah. So it's kind of a, yeah, man, God is good. That's what I'll say about that. <laughs> yep. Amen. All right, ready for a weird one or a tough one? Yeah. Or actually, it's kind of easy. Oh boy, here it's we all go. of them. Oh, that went one. from a weird, tough, easy. Well, it's just like is that. What you call it? Like, yes, I love the Waffle House. Is that was that the question? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of no. That's not weird or tough. Uh, that's easy, over easy. Thank you. Ba-dum. Ba-dum. Smart. What is y'all's best advice? Who's Mark? 
He's the one that asked oh, the question. Oh, <laughs> Mark, we're asking you. No, yeah. we're giving you the advice, Mark. What is y'all's best advice for a high school boy? Best advice. Keep that thing in your pocket. <laughs> 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 Uh, if Phil Robertson were here, he would say, hey, keep that thing in your pocket. You won't have anything to worry about later 100, on. 100%. And that was the first thing I thought whenever you read that question, which is why I about choked over here when you actually said it. Keep that thing. Uh, He'd say, hey. That's hey. the number one advice. Mm. That's from Phil, not us. I remember you're in high school, man. It's great. One of the greatest times of your life. It you got be. a few responsibilities starting to kick in, but overall, you got a roof over your head. Your bills are minimal. You can kind of you got a lot of built-in freedom because you're probably driving. So take advantage of it. Because trust me, those days are numbered, my friend. Numbered days, Sir? Well, I was sitting here trying to think of that, you know, and that that's a tough one to tell someone young. Yeah, but I I, I, I wish someone would have told me. You know, think more about what you're going to do when you grow up. Yeah. Because you know, in high school, you ain't there yet. Because, you, think you, you, you know, <laughs> scatterbrain ain't the word, okay? You know, because, no. Would you go back to high school? I would go back to y middle school. Younger? Yeah, to middle school. Even less responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, so I was just shaking off all responsibilities. No. Son. Hey, hey, Get that I, out of here, no, son. No, no, I was serious, thinking third grade. Start, <laughs> let's start over. Wait, when did we well, have them snacks in class? Yeah, let's yeah. go back to no. then. No. I just, just remember that girl from New Mexico showed up in the third grade. It's a good year. Well, see, that was my problem. <laughs> sure, I'm glad Allison don't listen to this because you've held on to that one for a while. What? Hammer. Oh, no. <laughs> She was gone a couple years later. I just remember oh, boy. it. Good year. Oh, oh. <laughs> Third grade, you don't even know. Never mind. Exactly. I'm sorry. No, I think the most important thing for a high school boy to remember, besides Phil's advice, that might be the most number one advice. Yeah, that's a good one. That's solid. But don't take, I wish I would have. Girls, seriously, don't take, don't take anything too seriously because you're dumb. Yeah. And you think you're smart and you – you might think you have it all figured out, but you don't. But you trust might. me, that head is still fully submerged in between them cheeks. You <laughs> yeah. ain't pulled. You ain't come nowhere near close to pulling it out of there. And yet, you might so. think you have your whole life planned out, but you don't. And no. so it goes back to what Martin said: have fun, enjoy like, it, just man. enjoy it while you can. Because remember, you're in high school. Get a job, start learning responsibilities, but don't get so caught up in those responsibilities that you forget you're a kid, man. Because you're still a kid. Yep. Enjoy it. Live it. Because life, and, life is coming. And learn while you're there. Yeah, learn. Enjoy it. Make, make, some, mis make mistakes. Make mistakes. Make friends. Like, find find you some friends. Find you some lifelong friends. I've still got several from high school. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, Good I mean, there'll be a lot of those people around you will be with you for the rest of your that's, life. That's why that's I tell people all the time when I'm out speaking, you know, especially the young people, that, hey, this is to me. It's just my opinion. The best time of your life. Because look around you, and all the people that you know, they're going to be with you for like, if you're in the second grade, they're going to be with you 10 more years. Yeah. Up to high school. Unless and they're from on. New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, you know. I don't even know what happened to her. <laughs> you know. She dated Matthew Dobbs for a while. <laughs> But no, you're right. Yeah, because you forge those relationships, and it's actually like where you start to learn no, no. how to build relationships. Yep. And it's a it's a cool time in your life. It's a it really is. But I think that's one of them deals. Like people ask you all the time, go back to the glory days, and I I, I feel like every day that we're in are the glory days. Like I, I just feel like I feel like I'm in the good old days right now. That's what I'm saying. I, but I think if you ask either. me in 10 years, I'm going to say, yeah, we're in the good old days right yeah. now. Like I'm, I, I think it just stays with you and your stage of life is what changes. Like, and, and, and you enjoy your, different things, your outlook on life, everything in your life means something different. Like at 16, whatever that was, my only concern, well, we're not going to go into all of them. I had a few of them, but like one of the one of the things that consumed me was seeing just how many ducks I could kill. Like at sixteen, seventeen, I had 
My eyes were red, son. I had to kill them. You go to like, where they roost. Like I, they, in the morning and evening. Like I mean, I'm talking about. I had to. I had to be after. Oh yeah. These days, I can look out there like, ooh, clouds, no wind, no thank you. Hello, Brittany. Would you like some breakfast? <laughs> like I mean, you, but that and I would consider right now a section of good old days in my life. Just like I can look back on those and say, man, that was a lot of fun. And. Mm-hmm. So I think it just I, wherever you're at in life that that outlook changes and so does the definition of good old days. So, but it's I, like it's like kind of like food. You change, you know. You begin to try and enjoy other things, and that's that's the relationships built. Except for balsamic vinegar. Yeah, it's you know it's always changing. Never never the same. Stay away from that vinegar. <laughs> yeah, that right, my wife Calvin. ordered that on the oh. salad the other day, and I thought of you as it gross. Uh, oh. So bad. All right, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. You ready for another one, Martin? I am. I'm ready. Who to wants a be. Martin fatherhood specific uh, make him judge both of his kids question? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm t- y'all people really need to get you. Bath Smith underscore something something something. Which of Martin's sons would play the baby Jesus in the church nativity play this year? Neither one of them. <laughs> Neither one of them. <laughs> Brittany ain't going to let them out of her sight. <laughs> well, Brittany can Not be married. that, they both bad. Like, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, ain't none of them worthy of being holy. Are you kidding? Could no. either of them sit there for, let's say, 20 minutes? I would have said up until now, it, Jackson could no doubt do it. But like the last three days, my man has just, he is like the exact opposite of the kid he used to be. He used to just lay there, you can leave him still for about 10 minutes. He's asleep. He's now on team no sleep during the day. Team and, no sleep. And just, you know, sleep when we're dead. And eat everything that you will throw in front of him, which hasn't really changed. But now he gets this deal where he only like craps once a day. And so by like the whole time he's getting fussier and fussier because his belly hurts. And like we're trying all the things like the bicycle kicks, probiotics, which are very expensive, by the way. Probiotics for babies are unbelievable. But yep. uh, gas drops, you name it, we're trying it all. But like he's just like, no, nah, I'm a one time a day. And I'm like, bro, you're. I'm wondering if you're my child now. Yeah. Cause I can That's set right. my watch by mine. Is it in the morning after he gets up? It it changes every day, but it's only once. That's when I go. Me too. Yes, very quickly after the, my coffee. Yeah, very quickly after I get to walking out. around a little bit, and uh, doing whatever I'm gonna do. But Waylon, yeah, I mean, if you wanted an interactive baby Jesus, then Waylon's your guy because he's his eyes are wide open all the time. And he don't miss much, and he'll stare right into your soul. So, like, I mean, but. That'd be Waylon would be him. Yep. Waylon would be him. All right. There's your right. answer on the world of Waylon, Jackson, and Martin. And Brittany. And Brittany. All right, we got a question from Ireland. Irish. Godwin, you might want to take your headphones off for this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why is that? Well, because we got to talk about Christmas tree cakes, baby. What in the world is a Christmas tree cake? We don't have them in Ireland. You need to roll, buddy. Yeah, I got to be honest. I'm not one for relocating, but you might need to think about it. Hey, but don't don't fret. We ain't got leprechauns. So. That's right. All right, there you go. And and we don't have a football team named after us. So, like, the Fighting Irish. Well, they're the we... Patriots. Huh? Well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. But So a Christmas tree cake. Martin, do you want to give them a rundown? I got a case of them in my truck if you want me to go get, get them. them. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, that's why I didn't bring them in here because yeah. they're for everybody, yeah. but I didn't want to tempt you. Imagine yeah. if you were to order the greatest wedding cake in the history of man for your wedding. And individually pack it. Put it individually pack it where you could almost fit the whole thing in your mouth and covered it in green sugar sparkles and just wonderfulness. <laughs> wonderfulness and, and it's only available for like two months a year yeah, so it's kind of like the mcrib it's white cake with thick frost right smack in the middle oh, i'm gonna eat one is. today i'm gonna grab a cake yeah. a, a box from you yeah hey, they're will. for they're for everybody there may be a few boxes so that in the shape of a christmas tree yeah, yeah. that's the important part of it yeah 
Because like you think, you look at it, and you're like, man, it's just a zebra cake. But it's just, no, it's, it's really not. It's really not. No, it's, it's, no. it's zebra different. cakes are garbage. Yeah, well, that's not, not true. Whoa, no, not <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Amy asks, "What did we get our wives for Christmas?" Mm. Twins. Ah. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. What did you get your wife for Christmas? Twins. Okay. Uh, a remodeled house. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're y'all on budget this year, huh? Yeah. Well, we're just like, hey, if you want to get something, get it for the kids. Please let it be diapers, wipes, or whatever formula. So I will find know. out Christmas Eve when I got my wife. Who's doing your shopping, Philip? My wife. No, oh. my wife. You just tell her to go have fun. I, I just tell her, "Hey, you go buy what you want, darling." Hey, on Black Friday for Amazon, I did get her one of those little small jump packs for like jumping off your car. Oh, just one of the tiny ones because I've had her one of the big ones like that used to that I got in my toolbox. But I saw they had one of the tiny ones on for like sixty five dollars, and I bought one for her. So I already gave it to her. So I don't know if it counts as Christmas. It or counts. Not, huh. So my wife's birthday is December seventh. Mm-hmm. Our anniversary is December 18th, and then there's Christmas. So I just buy stuff. All so you're December. just hemorrhaging money. Yeah, no, I just I buy stuff, and then <laughs> seventh comes, I pick some out, give it to her then. Eighteenth comes, here go. But, but the other night, she was on her phone. She goes, man, I'm getting old. And I said, why? And she said, <laughs> I said, why do you say that? She goes, this car vacuum cleaner that's for sale looks really cool. I just bought it like the day before. Oh, you pre-bought. Boom, I bought it before she said it. And then she found out she really wanted it. And I was like, um, and she's never going to believe it. Well, I went ahead and told her I bought it. That way she would believe it. I said, you're never going to believe this. Look at the Amazon card. Right. I already I bought, just it. bought it. Okay. That's, yeah. that's a good look. You know, that's a but good I will look. say, so for our anniversary and we're filming, we've already started for, filming this a little. For ahead. the anniversary, you got her a vacuum cleaner? No. Oh, no. I, I kind of went. That's for Christmas? I kind of went. Yeah. Oh, she got her her house back for anniversary. I did buy her a, a vacuum cleaner for Christmas one time and I thought it would be funny and she kind of didn't like it, but then she really liked it. But, so for, this is a cool gift, and I was a little nervous, but, so I haven't given it to her yet, we're filming ahead of time, so nobody say anything if you're in the room, but I found this website, and I got her a necklace from Israel, because my wife's a big Bible studier, and it has the entire Bible engraved on this tiny little thing, like some fancy Israeli technology, and you can only see it through a microscope. And I'm like, oh, she's going to dig that. And then I was all nervous because I thought it would just, you know, ship from America and like be insured and stuff. So I had eight days of sweating about a necklace in the mail. It went to Germany. Then it went to Cincinnati. So I got it. Do you have a microscope? I don't have a microscope. So we can't read it. But so you can't even prove that it's not just a gold chain. <laughs> you know, I, it's like buying you like can a pearl tell necklace there's stuff in a parking lot it. that tastes suspiciously mini. Like, you can I mean, tell. That, <laughs> like, you can tell it's been engraved. You're like, wow, there's a lot of little bitty right. things on this tiny piece of. That's what I'd say. Ship, but I think she's gonna like it. I, I, I just, that's what I'm going with. I, as long as she doesn't have a microscope, I don't know. Yeah, what yeah don't get a microscope and find out. I ain't no telling what it says. The only thing I'm nervous about is they said you had your choice between King James. And like it in Hebrew, and I was like, "Well, we, I can't really read King James, but I really can't read Hebrew." So uh, you can't read uh, it anyway. So we're going with uh. King James. So like, if she ever gets it, and then gets a gets a like heads up to ULM and gets a microscope and then looks at it, it's going to say "doth hath." Well, but what if it's in Hebrew and I click the wrong one? You know what it's going to say? Got him. Got him. <laughs> no, these are good people. Uh, I'll let you know if I ever get a microscope. I Carter probably has one. Yeah, science set. All right, well, let's take our last break. We'll Wait, be, what's Godwin uh, getting? Oh, time out. Godwin, what you got? Wait, what you getting, Miss Paula? A deer feeder. A deer feeder. Son, you winning. <laughs> you at the stage of life that's where you winning at that's Christmas that's presents. Right. All Miss Paula care about deer hunting. Last year, you got her trail camera. Mm-hmm. I know because you asked me which ones to get her. <laughs> yeah, I got them, too. <laughs> he that's got good. them. Man, yeah, and some muck boot. Wow, yeah, she, but hey, that's, that's enjoyable. What that's good. Hey, if that's what well, she, she wanted, wanted little shoes, you know, no, no. shoes, not the boot, a little shorties. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Well, there you go. All right, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. Back and I got tons more questions. Man, we didn't get through hardly any of these. We may have to do another one of these. Part maybe two. Like, dare me. Maybe like do another one later this week. So maybe look at Instagram. 
if you're in the future and watching this and can go back in the past. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, anyway, once again, weird Instagram name. It's not really a name, but she said her little sister Tara listens to y'all's podcast religiously. Would Thank you mind? Mi- would you mind saying hi to Tara? Hi, hi Tara. Tara. Hi Tara. Thanks for listening. Boom. I hope you're watching. One more question. Merry Christmas, Tara. A couple days ago. All right. Well, <laughs> deca- <laughs> knock that one out. All right. If you could only eat uh, one more one protein the rest of your life, what would it be? Ribeye. With the handle on it? It's got to have a handle. Fish. Tenderloin. That stone cooks. Chicken. Chicken? You can do anything with chicken. Hey. The same way I feel about oh. fish. Yeah, it was a tough choice. I'm using one that's a lot of, lot of avenues to be. But see, it does it have to be a certain type of fish? No, he just said what type of protein. <laughs> oh, said, see, that could protein. change my mind. I could have crappies. I could have tunas. Uh-oh. See, now I we're... T- could, see, I, I was just fish. thinking... Yeah. There's a lot of stuff I can do with him. Fish might be better than chicken in this scenario. I can eat it raw. Oh, no. Ugh. You don't like Apparently raw you you don't like raw fish? No, I don't like fish. No. You ain't never oh, eat tuna. Buddy. No. I don't like raw fish. You bro. can eat ribeye raw. You wouldn't kinda. even think it was raw. That's what I'm saying. No. Mm. You wouldn't even think it was raw. I don't want to hear that. I would know it's raw. No, you no. wouldn't. You can look yeah. at it. It says no. it on no. the package in the gas station. It says <laughs> no. raw. Well, why no. are you buying your sushi? I'm <laughs> just kidding. The only thing you buy at the gas station is them boiled eggs. You know what's real good at gas station? Chicken. I'm just saying, chicken rules. A boiled eggs and a meat witch. I've had them a couple of times. Oh, man. How good is that? Gas, uh, gas station you gotta, lunch. You gas station it, meat pie. Oh, my goodness. You got to cook it. That's why I took oh. a tenderloin. It's light pink. What you doing there, son? My ears fell off. He just hey, broke his thing. Good grief. And there you could. Go. I know food does. I want tenderloin because you can eat it with a spoon, <laughs> boys. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna go home and smoke a deer backstrap. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. After that's talking it. about this, that's it. What else you got, Sean? I think we've done this one, but I think it's worth visiting again. Well, the second one, second you, time we do it, it'll be better. If you could live anywhere in the United States of America other than L.A., lady, I ain't never moving to Los Angeles. <laughs> Is it L dot A dot? Ah, uh, did you see what I did there? She meant here. Yeah. Uh, where would we live? Arkansas. Arkansas. A lot That's of a critters in Arkansas. It's a good That's one. That's a good one. Central Arkansas is a good one. You're close to a lot of stuff. Mm. I think I'd go west. I'd go to Arkansas. On You're a going west. west. On I'd a whiskey west. boat. Problem with west, man, it gets cold out there. Uh, I ain't going well, to get cold. It depends on how far west you go. Not in San Diego. No, you start climbing that hill out there, it gets cold, man. Walter sent me a picture that day. You know, he just moved to Idaho Falls. Oh, I know. That's cold. And Is that shooting, in Idaho? Yeah, shooting shooting mallard ducks on a warm spring and everything around him was frozen. Oh, yeah. No way, Jose. Yeah. Yep. But I don't, I mean, crap. I don't know. Sundance, Wyoming would be cool till wintertime got there. Yeah. It's a neat area. Of the well, country. I was thinking about all the critters and all yeah. the waterfowl mm-hmm. in Texas. Texas, yeah. They got a bunch of game. They do. Ooh. Big time. Doves. Texas does. Arkansas does. I think I pretty well live anywhere as long as it didn't get above like central Missouri. You can kind of pretty much draw a line, yeah. straight line yeah. there. Yeah. At, that, at that latitude, I ain't going no yeah. higher than yeah. that. Like, that's, that's, that's it. It gets too cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lizard. It, hey, when it'll freeze a cow standing up, no, that's too cold for yeah. me. I'm a lizard. Give me some heat. <laughs> I can deal with the heat. I, I'm going to Florida. I like Florida. Make America mm. Florida. Florida ain't bad. Yeah. They got two different except, oceans. Except they, or don't I guess have, one. they don't have any, enough critters down there. They got They hurricanes. got all the fish. Wait, well, yeah, they got but plenty of fish now. You got to leave during the hurricane season. You ain't got to. Well, well, you'd you'd be, you'd be smart to. <laughs> yeah, I got hit by two hurricanes right here in Western Row. Out. Yeah. No, we didn't get hit by what they get hit with. No, that's true. But, hey, they built that sucker back up. They got it going on down there. Make America Florida. That's all I'm going to say. All right. uh, Dingus8000, he's got a question. Do you think it's serious or silly? Silly. Wrong. How do I know when I can be honest with my girlfriend and tell her I love her? 
Then he just says six months. I don't know if that means they've been dating for six months. I don't know if he's asking six months. But when can he be honest with his girlfriend and say, I love you? I don't know, because once you fire that shot, you can't put it back in the You holster. might get a thank you back. Yeah. But you, you got to be, if you love her. Yeah. Just tell her. Tell her and hope for the best. Hope she does, too. That, yeah. I, I don't understand that because, hey, you always got to be honest. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. I think it's time, Dennis. I guess I'm not saying don't be honest. I'm just saying be prepared for what may or may not happen after you fire that shot. That's a that's when? a that's a four letter word. That's a big one there mm. that escalates things. When did you tell Brittany you loved her? Oh, it was probably I don't remember. Probably not a year. Not quite a year. It was less than a year. But I mean, I was uh, when I I let that one out. I was like, "Uh oh, let's find out." <laughs> you know, I mean, that's one of them. It it lets you know your status real quick. Like, is this worth pursuing, or is she about to ghost me from here on out? She like, about to ghost you. Yeah, is this is this? Godwin, do you remember? I don't remember. Side was it that night I'm with the dragon? Pretty sure dragon? I said it. First, yeah, though. it took me fourteen hours to convince her to marry me. Well, I would hope you'd said I loved her by then. <gasps> On night one? No, that was the drag. No, he's talking about one the marrying. Yeah. Oh yeah. The engagement. Do you want to know how quick? Three weeks. <laughs> I mean, you're a hopeless romantic, so I'm I'm cool with <laughs> less. <it. Like. laughs> Less yeah. than three weeks. Three hours. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks from everywhere. <laughs> really. I went for it. And? She said it back. I don't know if she meant it. I don't know if I meant it, if I'm being honest. I was a child. We got married when we were like 12, 19, but she was 19. Oh, yeah. Then we broke up. I think so. Then, we, well, that was yeah. later. Two then we weeks. got back together. We were always meant to be. How, and quick, I, how quick did you say it when you got back together? Pretty did, quick. Did you wait a minute? No, no. I think part of, no, the day. No, because I, I was mad. I was still mad. And I was like, hey, girl. We got to talk. And I said, "This, what are we, I don't know why we're not I like together. it. I this like it. Hey, dumb. girl. I got to talk. We got to talk, girl. No, we were, at a, we were at a big <laughs> gathering, and I said, hey, we got to talk outside. We happened to run in the same circle <clears throat> that day, and I was like, look, here's, here's the deal. I, I, I love you. Like, we can figure this out. And we got back together. There but any, that's a any, bold strategy, my man. Was there any white claws involved? No, you never mind. I used 19. <laughs> Couldn't buy them. <laughs> Couldn't buy them. <laughs> no, but I'll say uh, you probably have no idea what love can be, Dingus, um, because I said it in two weeks, and I said it on the day I got married, and I did love her, but it gets way better over time. So oh, I don't think – I like Without question. Like you love Brittany way more today than and, you. And way different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, a completely different – Yes, hundred percent. Completely different meaning of that word. Now. Yeah, a lot, a lot more lights have come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Way more than <laughs> one flashing red at that point. Way more than two weeks in knowing oh, Allison. Uh, it's, it's a very different feeling now, um, and it's way better. Yeah, but yeah, it took a lot of growth. It does get better. So Dingus, I think I just love that this man's name is like Dingus Eight Thousand, and he—that's all <laughs> Dingus, I got to call him. Dingus Eight Thousand. So Dingus, I'm gonna say go for it because if you do, like, search yourself, make sure like you're ready for this, and if you do, you just go out there and say it. And if she says maybe or thank you, I always hear that's a popular one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, you're just gonna have to roll with it. Mm. And if she says thank you, say you're welcome because you're polite and. Um Realize that this probably ain't the time. Yeah, I wouldn't fire a second one. <laughs> don't don't fire two shots back there. Don't don't. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. If she says thank you, you be back off of that word yeah, for a while. Don't, and, don't don't double tap. And it. then you and then hey maybe one day she comes back and she says I love you. I just wasn't ready then. She yeah it happens mm -hmm. all the time. Love is a tricky thing. Mm hmm. Tricky yep. thing. Love on the rocks ain't no big surprise. Neil Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a splendid thing. Oh, it's tricky and splendid. It's all the things. All right, you got a verse? I just love the fact that you tried to guess three weeks to make me feel silly, and it was you overshot me. The, I <laughs> yeah, even, I'm going with the did, verse. He didn't have faith in you. No, that wouldn't <laughs> make you feel silly. I verse knew of, it was uncomfortably quick. <laughs> verse of the I know thing. you well enough to know that that was uncomfortably quick. 
Like, I don't know at three weeks that I love a freaking cheeseburger. Like, that's oh. what's weird. That's the, Cheeseburgers love at first sight. <laughs> You know or you don't. Now pizza, I said it immediately. Oh, uh, pizza, I know I know that one too. I know I'm gonna love a pizza even if it's gross. Uh, All right. John <laughs> God one. But he's uh, he said I can uh, taste that every time y'all talk. He said, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go home. John ten seven. Nine and ten. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, I'm the gate for the sheep. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Jesus promised you heaven, but following him also gives you a really good fun time here on this old ball of earth. It's pretty tough to live on. So I'm just asking you, if you don't know him, follow him. Find somebody that does follow him and ask them questions. He's the good shepherd. Amen. That's my last advice for the day. Happy New Year. Uh, Merry Christmas. Whenever this one falls, folks, hope you have a great holiday season. It's the holiday. We appreciate all your support, and we are absolutely crowding 200 episodes. Wow. Love you. No, this is past two. Is it? When does two? Is this 201? There you go. So look, we're at 201. Oh, my goodness. Golly, that last episode was wild, wasn't it? I don't know yet, but we're going to try. <laughs> I'm going to go eat a cheeseburger. He's going to eat a cheeseburger. I got to get to work. There. Let's He's have gonna, a pizza party. He's going to eat a cheeseburger for that one. Holler at your boy.